Where's your performance there? Um, I guess, yeah, how did you make that one 12 point lead over the Caps? Uh, look, I mean, we, I just spoke to the girls. I think we knew the Caps, like, they're a lot, they're, they're a lot better than people say, you know, like. Um, and I think they go with this whole we're young and everything, but they're going to beat a lot of teams this year. Um, they play extremely hard. We knew that we had to turn up and be ready to compete. They're a great offensive rebounding team. You saw how good they are in transition. They push the pace and, you know, we gave them far too many, I think, easy baskets in transition and just got ourselves on the back foot a little bit sometimes, maybe celebrated our scores a little bit too hard and forgot to get back on defence. Um, but, you know, I'm really happy to get that win. I think we showed in patches um, just how good we can be. I think we defended really well for long stretches as well. Um, did a much better job rebounding-wise today than we did last week. Um, so, you know, I think there's a lot of positives and there's also going to be a lot of areas we can continue to develop and improve. And I think that's the exciting part. You know, we're able to get a win on our home court against a, a good team, a hungry team. Um, you know, and as I said, we built the lead out to 19 or 20 points or whatever at some stage and then just had some lapses, let them back in the game. So uh, really happy overall with it and can't wait to get back to practice and keep working with this group to keep getting better. From your player to your ref, had an absolute season game for her. Um, I guess, how did you see her performance? Yeah, Alice was great. You know, she, um, you know, I thought we did a good job executing. I thought she was really aggressive, um, you know, and... You know, probably funnily enough, we actually had a meeting this week and spoke about some of this stuff and her um, playing in the flow of the offense a little bit more and trusting the ball, finding her. And I think the girls did a good job of moving the ball, and Alice also did that as well. And, um, you know, she was the recipient of a couple of nice open shots and, um, you know, obviously made some great aggressive plays for us off the dribble as well. So, you know, that's sort of why we brought her here. I know how good she is, and um, I'm really excited that she's here and can't wait to keep coaching her. I think honestly just sometimes when you just like Shannon said just like trust the offense and kind of like let things come to you like everything helps a lot more I know for me my goal was to really stay out of foul trouble and just focus on the defense and you know boxing Alex Sharp out so honestly that was my focus for the whole game I didn't even say anything about offense for me but um, like Shannon said you know I'm really it's a great team to play for you know the, the ball moves um, and I think that's something that we we really focused on during the week is just like kind of moving the ball. And I think our intent and the way we played today was just a lot better than last week. And obviously we've got some work to keep building, but, um, you know, super grateful that just the ball was able to fire me and, and knock down shots. But, you know, it was a really fun, fun game to play in today. The Caps said they lost you a couple of times uh, in defence. I guess uh, you put on numbers like that, teams won't be losing you. They'll be paying much closer attention. Are you ready for that greater attention going forward because of you know, sort of the performances you showed today? Yeah, I mean, when you have players like Sammy Whitcomb, Steph Reed, players probably will, you know, help off me a little bit on the on-ball because they're so aggr aggressive. So, look, I was, I guess, lucky um, that they did lose me a little bit tonight. But, um, you know, I think you've just got to keep moving without the ball and just keep finding opportunities where you can in the offense. And that's something that I'm just really trying to do, go after rebounds, cut, um, find other people as well. So um, I'm sure the defense will be looking more towards me as well but um, like Shannon said just staying in the flow of the offense letting the ball work it won't always be my night it'll be someone else's next week or the week after but you know just trusting the offense and playing together. Alice you still had a bit of a disrupted pre-season as, as well where you feel like you're a bit rusty and you sort of up to the speed of things now? Yeah for sure I, I definitely feel like my body and my mind are definitely clicking back together and and just missing that preseason was really hard to miss that time with the girls and obviously you know coaching with Shannon but um, the girls have been awesome Shannon's been awesome kind of getting me back up to the speed of things and I worked pretty hard to try and get back and you know just trusting my body and every day is getting better. We talk a bit about the system how different is what you're playing with under Shannon compared to what you've been in the past? It's actually pretty similar. I played in European teams and the way we play is uh, is very similar. It's like that system base. We've come off a lot of on balls, down picks, um, and defense is the focus. So in the team that I played in last year, if you didn't play defense, you didn't play. So for me, that's like a big thing and to pride myself on. Uh, but I really love playing in a system offense. Um, it's generally why I came here. I really want to play for Shannon, obviously, in that system. And I saw the way the girls played last year and the way everyone succeeded and obviously winning that championship. And, you know, I want to get another one this season. And Shannon, quick turnaround now until um, you head off again. How, what's the next little period look like for Jack? Yeah, so day off tomorrow. Um, you know, it gives me a chance to watch the game a few times and... You know, just figure out where we go from here. Um, 
And yeah, we've got two practices this week and then we're on the plane. So, you know, it's a short week. Um, you know, we're going to maximise our time on the practice floor because we don't train again for a week after that, basically. Um, so, you know, with a new group, we need every minute we can get out there. And as you know, you guys said, we've had a lot of injuries. And so this first three games has kind of been like our extended pre-season. Um, potentially have an import coming in sometime soon um, so we'll have to, you know, re I guess integrate into our team as well. And, you know, so this first part of the season, we need to get better every day. We need to try and win as many games as we can early on and build some momentum. And, you know, I think we're on the right path. We had a slip up last week. We had 10 point lead and lot threw that one away. Um, but, you know, we're excited to get on the road um, Adelaide had a big win against Southside tonight, so they're going to be a really tough team, and Perth at the top of the ladder. So it's um, you know it's going to be a great road trip, and we can't wait. Um, on the subject of the import, what is the hold up with this? Is there something going wrong in the background? Uh, no, just like still finalising stuff. Um, you know, I think we found the player that we want. It's just ticking the boxes, and um, then all that to come into the country until all the you know what do you say the I's are dotted and the T's are crossed and all those things and once that's all done we'll be able to put some news out who that person is and get them in our team and be off and running. Is there a time frame where you know that you know, paid work be filed by a certain date you can then play in a certain match? No, unfortunately it's uh, tied up with the government so it could be a week, it could be four weeks, I'm not sure. So we're hopeful that it's going to be sh you know less time than a longer time but right now like honestly I'm just focused on the girls that are here. I think they're doing great. Satina's been in our starting lineups playing great basketball. Um, you know, she was dominant on the boards tonight, um, and I think we've got plenty in our side to be able to win until this player gets here. I'd love to talk about CNN a little bit more, but uh, are you doing anything? Have you sent this girl the playbook? Is there anything along those sort of lines to get her a, a bit of a head start in writing? No, no, nothing like that. Like I said, we're still finalising everything, and once that's all done, I'll do my work and get them up to speed and, and all of that. But um, yeah, like I said, I'm just honestly focusing on who we've got here. We've got a lot of work to do. We're still not playing anywhere near as well as I'd like. Um, and so that's what our focus is. Yeah. Sure. On to Zatina. Um, we spoke a bit pre-season about how you know, this could be the season she takes that next step, breaks into the Opals. On her performances like tonight, is she getting closer? Oh, look, I think there's no doubt. Everyone knows the talent's there. Um, and I've said this ten times, she knows this. Her job this year is be consistent. Um, which I think she's been, you know, like she, I think each game she's been better, every practice she's been better. Um, she's been really open to coaching and feedback this year. Um, you know, she knew the first couple of games she didn't rebound well enough and tonight she had 10 boards and did a great job. So, you know, I think she's doing everything that uh, we need her to do. Um, and I think she's only going to continue to get better and better this season if she keeps it up.